It's just plastic. My name is Helm. That's right. You've seen the thumbnail. You know who I'm reviewing today. All right. This is part two of a three-part series for the Venom Riot and Agony Wave. Uh, I shouldn't say wave. Three-set box set or three-figure box set. So, yeah. Uh, go check out. I'm going to make this quick and short and sweet. Go check out. Video one should have been right before this for the uh, Venom figure. Uh, very, very cool figure. Very happy to pick that one up. Uh, man, I can't say enough about that Venom figure. Top rate. Uh, but go ahead and go check out that video so you can see more about it. Let's go ahead and get into... I'm going to make this one. This is going to be Agony's video. So part two is for Agony. All right. All right, before I open her up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, click that bell. <laughs> All right, look down in the description if you need to know anything. Link for itsjustplastic.com down in the description. Link for this box set down in the description. Hopefully, hopefully I can get you one. This thing's pretty limited and sold out pretty quickly. So uh, I'll try my best. Uh, anything else, music from the beginning. Uh, Instagram, Macari, everything about me, it linked down in the description. So when I pulled out the box, or I pulled out the set, this was the top of the box. This is middle, obviously the bottom. Okay. <laughs> so Venom was down here at the very bottom. Agony's at top. Uh, Venom's, some of the pieces of Venom was there. Let's go ahead and take this out, take that out. Okay. So, like I kind of covered in the last one, I covered the accessories and everything else. I was talking about at the end of the last video about pricing. So, I really feel like this box set was a good price. Um, Venom came with two sets of heads, or two set two heads and two sets of hands, which I thought that was really good. And then you get to the smallest figure out of the whole bunch, and all she comes with is two sets of hands no extra head no nothing like that that's kind of cheese ball i'm not real thrilled about that but also when you open up the figure or you open up the box you're going to notice that her head is not on her it's loose in the it's uh in a wrapper it's in one of these glassine bags so don't panic it's in the box or it's in one of the bags with her hands um I don't really like the way they did her hair. Um, let me show her head off real quick. Her hair does not look like it's actually coming out of her head. It looks like it's an afterthought. Like they made the head and then they sculpted the hair and just stuck it to it. Now I know that's exactly what they did, but they didn't make the hair look like it. It looks very awkward in my opinion. I think it looks cool from a distance. Like, if you put it here, you're not going to be able to tell. It looks awesome. But when you come up close, that is not what hair should look like. They look like hair extensions, like plugs or something. <laughs> but to show her hair off, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I think a black wash would really touch that up, See, like, like they did up here. And then kind of do that all the way through, but that would be a lot of work. Look at the little spiky... Old devil tail at the end there. That's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, she comes with two sets of open hands and two sets of, uh, or a set of, a set of fist hands <laughs> and a set of open hands. They're tiny. They're, they're so little. <laughs> Let me show you the difference in Venom's. There's Venom's fist and there's her fist. See the difference? Wow. And we couldn't even get an extra head on her. <laughs> um... Let's go ahead and pop her head on so we can cover everything. Oh, her hair gets in the way. Now, I believe this is the same body buck that's on Scream, which I will go get her here in a minute at the end of the video. Now, this, this figure, I'm going to tell you right now, this is really tight down in there uh, with her with her head and if you see like i'm trying to turn it and it doesn't want to turn it almost wants to break that ball off so 
I'm not going to be doing articulation too much with that because I'm not trying to break that off. I may have to get some uh, heat after the ball of that head or do some sanding because this thing, I can't even turn her head without it. It's turning the whole plastic in there. Let's see if I can show you. See, it's turning the whole, the whole plastic inside there, the whole neck piece. All right, so let's go ahead and she still looks good. Like I like the way it's, it's setting on there now. I kind of mess with it a little bit. Um, so I like the way it looks, but let's go ahead and just look her over. I like the paint job here. That looks really nice. The tail right here, or the hair coming across looks really good in that shot. Oh, she's got it down here too, like flames or something. You know, really dig the colors. I think she looks amazing. The one thing that I've noticed is look how crisp these lines are. Like, look at this. And I'm not trying to show off anything. Don't don't be gross. But look at the different color of the lines here. See how this one's real dark. This one's kind of faded. You can actually see that that goes up into her chest and it does not look good. Like these lines look like afterthought crayol like like markers. This looks like it was professionally done. This looks like, well, let's go ahead and add another place. You got a got a marker on your desk, Tom? Sure, Bob. <laughs> see how sharp these are? And then look, look at her down here. It just looks like, well, we need some color here. Let's go ahead and do that. Her butt is just as bad like like, look how crisp this line is. I don't want to move her. Like, look how crisp that line is. And then look. Just like, yeah. It kind of peters out down here. <laughs> uh, it's a good thing she looks nice overall. Because there's some QC errors. Like, some tension to detail they didn't think about here. Okay, let's go into articulation. I'm not going to do side to side. It's going to be very limited with her hair anyways. Uh, like I said, I apologize for that. But I'm not trying to break her. Um... Uh, neck trying to show you guys articulation so uh, down is pretty crazy uh, that's about it for up you could probably push it back if uh, if I, you got the neck pin you could probably push it back and get a little better you know what I mean but I don't really want to mess with this neck piece too much um, let's go ahead and go into the shoulder articulation so there's shoulder pretty good she's got a bicep swivel she's got double oh wow she's got double uh, <laughs> Double elbow, pinless elbows. Double pinless elbows. And then she's got the typical Hasbro wrists. They both go inward. Uh, she's got swivel up top or waist swivel at top. Got a little bit of a bend. Let's go ahead and show you that. Her hair is in the way and now they can't move her head. It's a pain in the butt. There's the back. Oh yeah, you not really much there. Uh, no, no waist swivel here. It's all up in the upper torso. She's got thigh swivel, upper thigh swivel, uh, double pinless knees, and then no th boot swivel, and then uh, typical Hasbro ankle rockers. So I'm trying to keep this video down, keep this short. I think she looks great. Oh, let's do a comp. Let's go do the. Let's look at. Here's the figure that she comes with so that's the venom she comes with which he towers over her here is the spinneret spidey that just came out i know that it's just the spinneret box set spidey don't don't try to come at me and that's not spinneret that's spider-man i know i got that <laughs> and then let me go get scream and kind of show you all that all right so here's uh scream Look, you can see they they just don't know how to do the hair on these for these girls on these symbiote girls because that looks like clown hair. It looks like a clown hair wig. <laughs> but let's move Spidey and Venom out of the way. This is a hundred percent the same body buck. The only thing that's really different is the feet and the hands, but obviously the head. This one's much bigger. But yeah, it's the same body bug. There ain't no doubt about that. No doubt about it. I think they look great. I really like these two characters. They seem, it looks really cool. So, very happy.
I'm going to be honest with you. When this box set first came out, I was kind of like, I was kind of on the fence with everybody else thinking, I was thinking, you know, they're just giving us three figures that have just, they're just painting them different and making new characters out of them. Well, not new characters, but they're just making the different characters out of them. It's just the same body bucks with different, you know, attachments, but you know, that's what they do for everything. I mean, if you really think about it, that's what they do a lot. So, can't be too mad. I mean, they did give us a pretty decent price break uh, price point on them. So, overall, I'm very happy. So far, Venom is killer. Uh, Venom is awesome. The Eddie Brock hit is great. Uh, and besides the lack of accessories in the box set... It's pretty. They're they're awesome. Uh, Agony's great. She looks amazing. Paint apps kind of crap, but I mean it's Hasbro. We're we're so used to paint app crap. Is <laughs> hey look Hasbro. Let me shout at you. I'm a QA guy. All right. If you need a QA guy, I'm sick of the aerospace industry. I'll come in and I'll help you guys with your quality. All right. I've been a quality manager in the aerospace industry for almost 15 years now. And I was in the military. So if y'all need some assistance in quality control, holla at your boy. I'll help you guys out because this sucks. <laughs> All right. You guys, that's it for today. You guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. You guys, take care. Have a good one. And remember, it's just black.